You are watching how to install custom firmware 639 Pro V7 on the PSP. Ok, the first thing to do is to check the current version. So go to System Settings. Ok, now go to System Information and you can see 639 Official Firmware. Ok. Now go to memory stick, select update pro to install the custom firmware. Ok, wait a little bit. Ok, some option will be shown. Just press S to install the firmware. Okay, it lists all the all that he's done. Now press X one more time to launch the firmware, the custom firmware. Okay, let's check one more time the firmware the firmware version, go to system settings, now system information, and you can see 639 Pro V7 version. Ok, another way to check you are in a custom firmware, or in this custom firmware, just press select, and the VSH menu will arise, with different options. Press select to to uh, hide it, now let's try to run a game, ok, just press X, this is uh, a backup game, uh, a backup that I previously made from an original game, ok, as you can see it loads the game, ok, now let's try another thing, for instance, let's try to run a, a game, uh, sorry, a, a program. Go to memory stick and select, for instance, Booker. This is a homebrew I have to read uh, PDF and text file, text, uh, plain text files. Okay, as you can see, it's a program running. Okay. I don't have a PDF in this uh, memory, so let's exit. Okay, this is a um, no permanent firmware. So if you reboot your PSP, you will end with the uh, with the original firmware. So you will have the 639 official firmware. Let's check it. Go to system settings. Okay, system information. As you can see, the 639 official firmware. 